but we're not going to miss anything right now because game number one is getting underway. Powder versus Era. Man, it's anyone's guess what these guys are going to bring to the table. Yeah, I'm super excited to see because I think this is going to be the biggest wild card match we've seen all season or one of the biggest ones. Era, though, I mean, you know, we talk about how he's been a little bit unpredictable, but this is a deck he's been queuing up a lot. This is the predictability in Era, but it's great because he mixes it up on you. He's going to do something crazy, something out of left field, but then he's going to keep sneaking in this Tempo Mage deck on you, and it's such a great change of pace with everything that he does. Yeah, well, against Leper Gnome, it can often be a little bit of a downer. His hand is looking pretty strong, but he's going to have to commit some resources here early if he wants to really pick this up. Yeah, well, he could turn one of the Sorcerer's Apprentice into a free uh, mirror image as well, really kind of uh, holding back on Powder here. Powder not going to be able to force his way through this just yet, and we're seeing Powder revert to what you know we've talked about his career tendencies are here, being very aggressive. Yeah, we're going to see exactly if he wants to, you know, Haunted Creeper, I think, is an excellent draw for this situation. But he does have to be a little bit concerned with his threats just getting run over at this point. Yeah, there's a chance you're going to see just quick shot on the Sorcerer's Apprentice here. It's just, it's really hard to leave that minion around on Era's side of the board. He gets so much value out of it late in the deck, uh, out of it uh, late, in, you know, as the game goes along. But again, I don't mind seeing Haunted Creeper here as well. And you're seeing Powder really struggle with this, this decision. Yeah, I mean, a lot of different ways to take it. Is going to quick shot early on. Uh, Era going to be able to hero power out this Leper Gnome and sit behind a single 0-2 taunt minion. He has removal spells to make sure he can get to this mid-game scenario, but Azure Drake really his only play in the next couple turns. Yeah, well, I mean, but this is what he's trying to do with this hand, and he's accomplishing it very well, because, like, what is Powder going to do to really punish him this turn? He's just going to make, you know, a 1-2 or a 3-2 and say, go. I mean, Era, again, he doesn't have a great turn three or turn four set up right now, but Nothing's really going on on the other side of the board, so he's going to get to get there. Oh, I might have well, spoken too soon. Something's about having really to going on on the other side of the board right yeah. now. Powder going to have that to is, answer this. That is a great pickup here for Era because it's not only threatening what Powder's going to be doing. It's going to clean up a lot of these you know, minions that are left behind if he doesn't answer it right away. Yeah, Kill Command. I mean, getting Kill Command pulled out of the hand, too, you still got to feel comfortable about that. Yeah, it's still a pretty good turn from Powder here. I mean, you get the Era's got to feel good about getting the Kill Command, but Powder at least gets to advance his board and get through the O2 Taunter here. Second Frostbolt, though. I mean, not a ton of action here for Era. Just gonna looks like he's forced to Hero Power and then just pass. I mean, you can't Frostbolt a Haunted Creeper, can no, you? No, I mean... It'd be kind of crazy if you obviously if you had the flame waker in play. I mean, you can frostbolt a haunted creeper. You do, you do it, have the option to frostbolt a haunted creeper. But I, I maybe he just frostbolts the face here so a weapon doesn't happen. You know, just to kind of steal some tempo. Yeah, just to steal some tempo and just get the uh, get the spell out of his hand. That's a really interesting play from Era, I would say. And Powder not going to use the knife juggler, just content with uh, weaving in as many hero powers as he can. The fact that he's running so low on pressure he wants to make sure that he can keep damage up at every single step of the way. But now this is Era's opportunity to really start to get something rolling. This Azure Drake, his first real threat on the board. Yeah, this Azure Drake is going to be great for him. He's going to lead in some really good turn sixes and turn sevens, but he wants to hold on to at least one of these spells. When he gets this Archmage and it's an ice and play, he really needs to get going. These are going to be some very important juggles from Powder, too. If he lands both of these on these Haunted Creepers, this game could snowball completely out of control. There's it's the one first of one. Oh, and he misses the second, though. Is he trading his Leoc at this point? Which one's better here, the Leoc or the Knife Juggler? Wow, well, he's think, actually yeah, going to go say, for a third th juggle. Yeah, he's going to get the. He's going to play for the third juggle here for sure. This is such an important one right now, and you can see Era even react to it. Ooh. Misses the juggle, though. That's big for Era, and you see Powder's a little upset with that one as well, but I, I almost think you have to trade here, but he's going to push for the damage. I don't mind that either. I mean, the fact that he's so low on resources, uh, you know, restricting the board presence doesn't do a ton for him in this scenario, and it's also pretty likely that Era's just going to trade as it is, so he's yeah, going to take advantage of that fact. This is going to be a really great turn for Era. He's going to clean up a ton of things going on here, use all of his mana, take care of a lot of powder side of the board, and develop a mad scientist here as well. Powder. Hopefully getting one of those last secrets out of his deck before he draws the powder other copy. completely out of action, too. I mean, he's got Kill Command and Explosive Trap in his hand, but Era's sitting at 14. I mean, if he can get some real action going here, uh, I think he can close this game out, but now Era has got complete control of what's going on on the board. Yeah, Era's going to be able to decimate his board yet again here. I love just playing the Antonidas, by yeah, the way. I here. do too. I mean, yeah. how does your opponent deal with it in this spot? They have to do something right now. Animal Companion. Uh, that gives him some outs. I mean, Huffer rolled here. He's just going to push for damage if he gets that. But he Ooh, gets... he could actually take care of the Archmage here if he, if he wants to. I don't know if he, yeah, he can afford for that damage, game plan. Though, yeah. yeah, he's just going to go full all in here. Yeah, he does have an explosive trap set up here, so he's going to try to win from here because mages don't usually have a lot of ways to heal from here. Yeah, Aerith has got th basically three turns if he wants to win this game. It's going to start with Sorcerer's Apprentice, and then he's going to look to start running everything over. Yeah, I was going to say, he could actually try to win here by never attacking and only doing fireballs and taking away two damage from Powder here. He's just going to chain these fireballs together because they're cheap. Yeah, but he's going to have to attack at some point or find himself a Frostbolt, and since he's already used both of those, that's not an option for him. 
Uh, there's the mad scientist going to get a, a secret out of this. Powder, though, a couple draws in his deck and still end this one, and, and Wolf Rider right is there. definitely one of them. Powder feels very good about that draw right now. You can see Era react. He reels in pain as that happens. Powder, the pressure made all the difference in the world in this one. He had a chance to check Archmage Jansenitis, instead decided to go for the dome, and that pressure won in the game. Powder takes a 1-0 lead. Yeah, and what's going to go forward here, where does Era go from here? Every time that we see him queue up this deck, right behind it is some kind of crazy, you know, deck that we haven't seen before or card choices that we haven't seen before. So where do you go from here if you're Powder as well? Do you just continue to be aggressive? Well, I think that Era can't feel too bad about this game. I mean, I think he put himself in a pretty darn good spot. Absolutely. So this yeah. one fought off a very strong hand from Powder early on. Uh, you know, the fact that he didn't have Mad Scientist early, really the only thing he had was the Sorcerer's Apprentice, I still think he's going to like his chances. Yeah, he still likes his chances for sure, but where do you think he goes with his deck choices from here and does Powder change it up? I think that that Era is just going to run it back with this deck. I mean, we've seen him play it so right. much. It's really the only thing that you can predict from Era. Yeah, this is, is the this one deck predictable deck. Yeah, yeah, this is the one predictable one. I yeah. totally agree with you. If you guys want to see exactly how Era's queued up in the past, head over to pvplive.net and see it for yourself. The full stats, breakdowns, recaps, everything he's done, as well as Powder is on there. Powder, once again, been a very aggressive player. If that's the way that you play, you may be able to pick up a couple of things from him and add those to your games. So they're making changes to their decks right now. That's the HBO format. Players can play whatever they want at any time. And when we come back, game number two is going to be getting underway. But Powder finds himself at a 1-0 lead. Don't go anywhere, guys. You're watching Hearthstone on PvP Live.